Hello everybody, Saltedy Hyena here. Welcome to another episode of Bot Build Showcase. Today we're going to have a look at my Sarissa MAO. This particular build started as an experiment and even though it breaks a few principles of mine, I liked it as mu so much that I actually kept it. This particular MAO runs, come on, show, yeah. Three accelerators, giving it a walking speed of 69 km an hour and a sprint speed of 101. It runs all light armors to get that going, and since it's a Sarissa MAO, I'm running radar on it. I know I've said plenty of times that any sprint bot must be able to out sprint chance, but I have almost no chance at hitting Sean's anyway <laughs> and I know that's a bad excuse but it's it has really high agility and you should preferably have a teammate between yourself and enemy Sean's anyway since you're a support bot but in many ways I'm more comfortable with the accelerator one that's just because you can out sprint Sean's but Enough about that, let's see how this particular build actually holds out. This is at the end of a battle I spawned in with red AI in my spawn. And as you can see, it has really high agility, man. The MAO have suffered from a nerf for a long time and even though they have gradually been readjusting it, I still find it a little bit lacking. Uh, personally I don't believe that any other bot builds than light MAOs are viable. I know plenty of people who swear by heavy MAOs but they're just not my cup of tea. And from what I can say, I don't have any clan mates who prefer to run that setup either. I think this should show you uh, reasonably well the strength and the agility of this particular build. That's that, but I do have another clip from another match. As you can see, uh, I ran feeding gears on my Cerises, and even though it's not as it's magazines and reinforced ammunition give you a lot more damage, but with all feeding gears, you have. An almost continuous stream of missiles and I really really value the ability of, of laying down a blanket of missile fire because I, I view this bot primarily as a counter to Tormentinelli's and opposing Turpitzes and I'm, I don't know if I would pilot it outside of a squad I'm being dis distracted by my buddy in the shun. <laughs> he makes me paranoid. So I retreated amongst my AI so they can protect me from him.
after building this bot as an experiment simply because I had a lot of parts from back in 1.4 1. 1. etc. I tried going back to my Sprint Accelerator Light MAO and I found myself really missing the agility of 70 km an hour walking speed. When you're playing a Sarissa MAO, a lot of the game for you is about positioning. Because you want to have a line of sight to your target at all times. So it's about getting into position as fast as possible. And it's only like, isn't it like 25 kilometers an hour or something that separates my sprint speed and the sprint build's sprint speed now? The fast MAO isn't that fast, so... It makes a difference when you're being attacked by a Sean, but I found that this particular build is probably better at getting line of sight to a far away target. Most importantly, it's it's a pretty fun bot to play, man. Uh, I I always love having that agility makes you feel less like a sitting duck and more like some sort of fighter. I'm sorry about that, <laughs> I've got a phone call while recording. Um, yeah, Cerisas, uh, even though the game sped up and it's uh, <laughs> at a disadvantage because it has a hard time hitting all these things. It's still a brilliant counter towards Tormentonelli's and Terpitzes. And um, yeah. I think I kind of prefer it over a Hammer MAO. I'm gonna do another, uh, another vid about the Sprint Sarissa MAO. And I, if I get any requests, I might do an episode about the Hammer ML. Fourteen seconds left. As always, people, it's been a pleasure. If you enjoy the stuff I make, consider liking and subscribing. And hopefully, I'll hopefully see you next time.